What's up, dudes? Coming at you guys on a video of a fully complete ZOHD Doctor Strike of 50 millimeter EDF wing. Bad boy, little bad boy. I'm gonna have to say that already. It's, it looks absolutely amazing. Very easy, very simple build. Uh, I'm sure you guys are already noticing the gloss here on the wings across the leading edges. That's the um, um, heavy duty gorilla packing tape. That's just something I do with all my planes. Not needed, but I added to it anyway. Absolutely stunning. I love the look of this plane. But anyway, so let's start here off the top. Um, I've been running these Fox Shear uh, Cat 3 cameras. Absolutely love them. Starlight camera. They're good for, my opinion, daytime running as well as uh, low light. They work out pretty good. And that's the the stock 180 degree servo that comes with the plug and play kit. And back here behind that, um, I'll do a screen in, screen in uh, for the guys that hasn't seen my Facebook page yet. But um, that's the Immortal T antenna, Crossfire. And the actual nano receiver itself is sitting um, under this piece right here. And I just kind of carved out this section for that to fit off in there. And here on the other side, that is the uh, 5.8 antenna sticking up. That is a uh, video arrow systems um, stubby antenna. And what it is, the pigtail is coming up here going down. And the actual video transmitter itself is a um, AKK X2. And it just, it's just hanging down here inside of the fuselage, um, locked in and secured. It's not going to get into the, the actual EDF unit itself. And that's pretty much it. That's all, all here that's on the outside of it. Um, again, absolutely stunning looking plane here. Let's get this fuselage here off. I mean canopy all oh, jeez <laughs> and uh it's kind of dark in there let me see let me swing get some light on here there we go that is a maytech f411 wse uh flight controller with inav 3.0.2 on it and yes it looks like a bird nest in there um no pins but as you can see it can most definitely fit in there um, the way I did it, I, I actually took out the, um, EDF unit and pretty much did everything from the outside, then just mounted it on the inside. It was, it was pretty easy, but the bird nest of wires <laughs> yeah, on this one, I'm, I'm kind of being lazy. I could have made them a lot shorter and nice and neat, but then again, I, I did need some extra slack in the wires, but I just got them all bunched up to where they're, it's not going to get sucked up into the EDF. But here up front, that is a, um, U blocks mini M A N G P S. Um, I use them on just about all my builds. That one or the the race day quads mini G P S. But this one is a, a U blocks. Works out really good. And that's pretty much it. Um, again, I, I will put this uh, carrier here or camera holder that I made here. I don't think it works for you guys that's interested in it. It's literally it's it's a better fit. And it's just riding here on top of the uh, the servo head here. And it's it's solid. No vibrations out of it or anything. Just here on the bench testing it. But anywho, just want to give you guys a quick rundown of um, this absolutely beautiful and my first INAP EDF wing for sure. This this is going to be pretty cool. But I got plans already in the making to change out that um, pan, the camera, to a... Um, a run cam nano split for HD footage on it. And I'm in the design process right now, literally um, on that. And hopefully we'll have that done soon. But I just want to go ahead and get it going right now. I'm, I'm ready to maiden it. Uh, can't wait to fly. It's going to be real um, exciting, no doubt about that. But anyway, peace and love, guys. Y'all have any questions, uh, hit me up. I'm out.